Moments after she was born, Federica Mazzia was accidentally dropped. I just fell on the floor on my face. That's how I broke my nose. Because of this fall, the growth center in her nose may have been damaged and cartilage and bone never grew properly. In her early 20s, Federica developed serious breathing problems. Parts of her nose had collapsed, so surgeons used synthetic implants to open her airways. But the implants caused Federica years of painful infections. Usually people get plastic surgery because they don't like their noses, they don't like any, any part of their bodies. For me, I have to change my face because I need to breathe correctly, I need to get rid of this infection. It's really way too important when you have an implant in the nose that communicates with the sinuses, ultimately is close to your eyes, it's close to your brain, and if that infection actually spreads, it can have devastating effects. Federica is now four hours into a complete nasal reconstruction with surgeon Monica Tadros at Roosevelt Hospital in New York City. Dr. Tadros has extracted two pieces of bone from Federica's skull to use as graft material to rebuild her nose. Now, she removes the synthetic implant from the bridge of Federica's nose. I'm really curious to see what this implant's gonna look like. You really have to be meticulous to get every last nook out, because that could be another source of infection. That's, that was the part on top, so that was here. So we have one full piece of bone that we'll be able to carve down to reinforce her nasal bridge. The second piece was a thinner bone that we're going to use to recontour the premaxillary area. So what we're trying to do is fashion the premaxillary graft to sit properly here. So we're going to try and set it to reconstruct part of that ledge so the nose can sit on something a little higher. Dr. Tadros secures the graft with biocompatible titanium screws. And that creates a really nice platform. So now it's nicely balanced. She moves on to build the bridge of Federica's nose. The bone in this area was stunted from her fall as a newborn and never grew outward. The graft should provide a more natural shape. Without it, her nose is almost completely flat. So we're really looking to reconstitute the nasal bridge, starting at the top of the lash line. And this is about four centimeters by one centimeter. We're gonna curve and taper the sides as well so it's nice and rounded. But once you start drilling away, you can't go back. So it's better to just size it and be absolutely sure. That's really tight. The bone grafts are in, but Dr. Tadros still needs to create the tip of her nose. Cartilage, which was harvested earlier from Federica's ear, has the right shape. So we're trying to just restore the natural shape. The whole septum's reconstructed, and there's some splints here that are holding that reconstruction in place on top of the bone grafts that we did to give her a little more structural support. Finally, after more than 11 hours, the reconstruction is complete. Closing her up, finally. Uh, it was definitely one of the toughest nasal reconstructions that I've ever seen. It's been two months since Federica's surgery. It's pretty, I mean, it's, it's in a very good shape, so it's, it's incredible how fast everything went. The infections and constant headaches are gone, and she's pleased with the way her new nose looks. My life is totally normal now. Uh, my health is, is great. I still have, like, a small fear that maybe something could go wrong. So I think I'm going to wait for a whole year, and then I'll think about this nose as my... Yes, nose. So I think um, Dr. Tadros has um, kind of magic hands, and um, I'm really, I'm really happy.